Welcome to Hot Springs Village Inside Out, a weekly podcast where Hot Springs Village, Arkansas is the star. Join me, Randy Cantrell, and my co-host Dennis Simpson as we discuss the history, facts, people, places, events, lots more surrounding Hot Springs Village, Arkansas. Visit the website at hotspringsvillageinsideout.com. That's better. You gonna hold it? Like yeah, yeah, there you go. Hey, now we're talking. Yeah, we're on his phone. Phone. That's, <laughs> that's I was gonna suggest that trick. They are not in the witness protection program. We not probably, yet. Not yet. Our, our, gu- <laughs> our guests are not in the witness protection program. Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Hot Springs Village Inside Out dot com is the website. Dennis Simpson, make the introductions. Hey, I'm Dennis Simpson. This is Miss Anna Owen. This is Mr. Joey Clampett. Joey, whom I've never met before. Yep. Flesh in the suns. Uh, Alana, I'm sorry, Anna. Alana. Oh, I'm doing it now, Randy. Alana as was running Melinda's or was, and then the world changed. Then all of a sudden, I see a Facebook post that says, it's a Secretary of State certificate, and it says, yay, we did it. And I'm like, did what? Alana, what did you do? (laughs) <laughs> well, um, so the Clampets and the Owens went into business together. Um, we obviously are keeping our own separate restaurants um, still in business, but we've joined ventures and we partnered up and we bought um, Tanner's Neighborhood Bar and Grill. And, and Joey, give us the background. What uh, Number one, I've never been to your place and I'm planning on it. I, 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 it's that kind of place mm-hmm. I drive by and go, I should be there. You've never been to my store? No, I know. Are you vegetarian? <laughs> I'm a meatitarian. I like meat. No. That's what gives we me got this that on glow. Film, man. Huh? We got that on film. <laughs> okay. Well, here's here's the story. Here's the story. You need to tell me about Clampets, and then I want to hear about Tanner's, which is kind of an institution. And Clampets is becoming one from what I heard tell. I, so you've never been in Clampets at all? <laughs> He's, have you're you ever never going to get past from that. I, I have never been in your place, and I do. I own a 53, firearm. 5398 North Highway 7. <laughs> when you get the red light, one mile up, we're on the right. By the cemetery. Yeah, past the cemetery. Yeah, past the cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Last, so time, right then. last oh, time I was in there, it was a God. pizza place. It was a pizza place. Yes, yeah, so like 10 years ago. Ten years, it has been. It's been about that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell okay. everybody, we, we have people listening literally from around the world. Tell me what Clampets is. Well, most of them have already been to Clampets. I was <laughs> but that's okay. We'll circle back. There's two of y'all that's still hanging on out there. No, no. So what you're saying is just for the remedial among us, myself included. Said, there's two of y'all out there still hanging on. So <laughs> for both of y'all that have never been to Clampets, Clampets is uh, 6,000 square feet of meat love. Meat love. Yeah, no vegetarians meat allowed. But meat love. There's a That's difference awesome. now. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. So uh, where everything's upper two-thirds choice and prime. We make about 20 types of sausage in the store. We make beef sticks, summer sausage, beef jerky, boudin, crawfish boudin. Um, we make 20 types of specialty items. Everything's hand cut in the store daily. All the sausages are made there, ground there. Grinds are made there. Do you have any soy-based products? You know, the the healthy stuff. I do. Over in the freezer <laughs> section, you'll see oh, it, we have it propping up some good steaks. <laughs> yes. We use it as a prop, <laughs> you know, because we know how sturdy that protein is. <laughs> now, I, you've touched on something, and I'm certainly not a vegetarian, but you've touched on something I've always wondered. If vegetarian, if veganism is so damn great, how come they always try to make it look, look and taste and smell like meat? What, what, what's right. the deal there, right? That, that puzzles me how they, why they want to get a vegetable to bleed, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> and we got that, too. We got that, too, for the 1% out here. But, you know, everything's cut in the store. We have a large frozen food section. We probably have 50 different types of fish in stock, anything from Chilean sea bass to rainbow trout, flounder, grouper, uh, halibut, shark, swordfish. Um, a lot oh, really? of shrimp, oysters, crab, uh, pretty much anything that swims. Um, <laughs> we have a large fully cooked section, five cooler doors called the grab and go. You come in there, get fully cooked entrees, sides already prepared, take them home, what, heat them up. 
What time do you close? We are open daily from eight to six. Okay. I still have time to give them get something is what I'm hearing. Yes. Yes. If you want to leave early, because it's going to take you a little while. <laughs> it's take you a while. Because there's a lot to look at. And kind of like well, I, me, there's a I, whole lot to go around. Honest to God, I've heard some really fabulous things about it. So, so let me set the let me set up the birth of the baby here, as it were. So, Alana, you have Melinda's, which was actually started by somebody else, or else it might have been Alana's, right? Yes. Right. And and you're basically doing the lunch crowd thing, and 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 then on Fridays you've got a special and whatever. Right. So, right so together y'all went in and, and purchased a, an establishment in the village tanners which was at the granada area for a long time and then came to uh just outside the gate and started their own little business how long have they been there uh, probably 10 years i guess right so tanners has been open for a total of 11 years um and half of that time exactly they were at granada and then the other half they were here um with the current location and so they were just ready to sell Yes, she was. Um, she was ready to retire. She put um, a lot into this business and it, it shows um, she created a, a really special place, but she was um, she was ready to go play more golf, she said. <laughs> so. Sounds nice, doesn't it, Randy? Now, if you golf, I don't <laughs> golf, but, but I'm not, but I'm going to, my excuse for not coming to Clampets is I live in Dallas, Fort Worth, but I'm going to be there next yeah. week. I'm going yeah. yeah. to come visit. I'm going to come visit. I had a lady call me from so, New Jersey yesterday wondering if I could ship meat to New Jersey. That's awesome. Wait, really? And we will, yeah. We do and we will. We shipped chicken and dressing to Los Angeles, California last year at Thanksgiving. We shipped uh, deer to Key West. We ship all over the world. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Wow, wow, wow. So for our friends who are listening in Finland, he ships. <laughs> Be more than happy to. <laughs> Matter of fact, two dollars off everybody in Finland's barbecue sauce. <laughs> yeah. Now we're talking. We four sauces available. Two dollars off. Only for Finland addresses though. <laughs> yeah, there you go. What used car lot did you used to work at? I'm just curious. <laughs> Anybody in the Czech Republic can get a dollar off the turkey. It <laughs> <laughs> gets your order in by six cents. Yeah, I don't know about Czech. What about Sweden? We got some Swedish. We we, we have Sweden. Meatballs. We make meatballs. <laughs> Yeah, there you, you go. Meat meat there balls, you go. Whatever they want. Oh, I like this guy. Alana, do you ever get to talk, honey? <laughs> well, I'm usually laughing when he's around. <laughs> That's great. That's great. And yeah. I, honestly, oh, I need to fill. What's that? Alana is the face of the business. So oh, okay. Okay. And you can tell why. Well, no, you're you're the hair of the business. You and me and Randy, we're the hair of the business, yeah. right? He gets pretty hairy around me. Though. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, for those of you who weren't caught up with us, let's recap again. Alana's, which is run by Mel or Melinda's, which is run by Alana, um, uh, Clampett's, which is run by Joey. And, and apparently they're taking over Tanner's, which, like I say, was an institution. I read in the article in the paper that said that y'all looked at it and said, you know, we can make this better. Now, a lot of people thought it was pretty good. How can you improve it? What were you thinking you can make better? I'm sure fresh cut meats or better cut meats or other things, variety. Uh, yeah, um, of course, right now we're just trying to add some fresh ingredients. All the meats coming from Clampets. Of course, we do uh, tens of thousands of pounds of turkey breast every year. Take raw turkey breast, smoke them from a raw steak. Uh, we'll use that in the menu. We do our own ham. We make our own pastrami, corned beef, roast beef. Um, we smoke our own cheeses. So a lot of the stuff, we make our own bacons at Clampets, four or five different flavors of bacon. Um so a lot of the meats, well, all of the meat will be coming through Clampets. So we'll have a little opportunity to put our love on it. Uh, and so we're, so right now we're just taking the menu as it is and freshening it up a little bit with some of the ingredients coming from our store. Uh, yeah. Just like Alana here makes some beautiful, wonderful desserts, um, even though I think I'm the sweeter of the two. So the breads, the desserts, and all that great stuff that uh, they're – accustomed to it. Melinda's, Alana's going to incorporate. Yeah. Now, I, I got to tell you, unfortunately, Joey, you forgot to mention one thing, and that's your innate humility. And I, 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 I stepped over that. I sure I missed yeah. that part. Yes. yes but yes. but we're, we're, shyness is chronic shyness. <laughs> <laughs> we could just get him to come out of his shell. Right. Move, right? 
Now, Randy, we are as, and he likes to say this. I want to know what have, hours. I want to know what hours y'all are open before I forget. At Tanner's. At Tanner's. Tanner's. At Tanner's. So right now we're open Tuesday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then Saturdays we just reopened on Saturdays and we're doing 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday evening only. And Ooh. so we'll close Sunday and Monday because Mama needs a break. <laughs> so I'll probably keep it that way for a, a while. <laughs> So, Randy, as as you always say, as we hit the record button, how many days have we been doing this, Randy? Uh, a little over 110 days. Yeah. And we're probably looking down the barrel of 40 shows whenever this airs in yeah. the ballpark. Yeah, roughly. This is the first show in 40 shows where I think I've actually gained calories just having a discussion about what's going on. <laughs> yeah. This sounds fantastic. What, what's the, what's the longer term goal for, for Tanner's? Uh, are you going to keep the same name and everything? And I mean, yes. Um, so one of the things that we had discussed, um, you know, uh, before we took over and it's still in the planning phase, but you know, we want to have the best chicken fried steak, um, out of anywhere. You know, my goal is to have the best chicken fried steak in the state. So, um, that's something that will be, you know, trial and error and taste testing and, um, doing a lot of things of that nature. Um, you know, but before, you know, the blue cheese was, uh, you know, pre-made here and now it's not, you know, we make fresh blue cheese dressing in house now, um, little things like that. We're already incorporating, um, bread and butter. We proof and bake, uh, rolls here now, and then we serve homemade honey butter. Um, to every table. So it's not, you know, something that um, like before, I think you got to roll with the meal, but now we just, every table, you get fresh bread and, and sweet honey butter. Really? So that's a, that's a big plus and everybody's really liking it so far. We just want to, she had a great menu. I mean, it worked phenomenally and people love it. So we're not really trying to change it. We're just trying to bring a little more freshness to it and elevate it just a little more. So for people that weren't, that, that may not know, <clears throat> and of course we, we don't all because I mean, come on, he's, he hasn't even been to your place, Joey. So, and he's lived around there forever. So he's without excuse. Make it I've, worse. At least, I've at least got an, I've got somewhat of an excuse. So what's the place been known for? What, what's been the, you know, the bell cow thing. The roasted chicken is the top I would say, right? Yes. I think last year they sold in excess of 20,000 pounds of chicken through the store. Man. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of yard pimp. That's so, a, yard, so it, a roasted, lot of yard bird. Yeah. So roasted chicken is different than just chicken dropped in a, a deep fryer. So it's actually a pressure fryer. And there's three large roasters in this kitchen. And I mean, it's, it's quite a piece of equipment, um, but they actually pressure fry the chicken. And it is, it's very different, but it's absolutely delicious. And I think by far better than your traditional fried chicken. Well, I'll be there next week, so I volunteer to taste test if you're I gotcha. test, if you're testing out your chicken fried steak. I'm all oh, about yeah. it. Okay, I I'm gotta sorry. ask. I mean, I'm from Texas, but I think I don't care where you're from. I think chicken fried steak, a really good chicken fried steak that's hand battered, um, is something phenomenal, and it, it it's just the best comfort food, in my opinion. Fried fried okra is yeah, that? Yeah, fried okra. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, you got me. <laughs> 20,000 yeah. pounds of chicken. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't, I, I know nothing and I know I know nothing here, but I, I thought there was a famous Colonel one time from a, what state was it? Kentucky that did that kind of boast roasting thing. Is it, yep. did he kind they of do. part of his secret too, wasn't it? It is. Yep. Sure is. Fascinating. Okay. Well, I was going to ask, and, and let's have a, let, let's be all real here. Let's go have a reality discussion. Okay? okay. We had you scheduled for one and then we had you scheduled for two, and then we had to push it to four. And that was all because of the reality of staffing. Oh. Tell me staffing, about it. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a huge issue. I don't think that we're in as bad of a position as some of the other people. We, we were fully staffed right now. It's just training. Um, this is a new restaurant. Like I said, we're making blue cheese in house. Now we're making honey butter in house. We're doing all these things. So we're, we're plenty staffed. It's just a training thing. And it's just a phase that we have to work through. Um, but yes, uh, between three restaurants between, between us. Yeah. We, we need to be, we're very hands-on owners. And that was a big discussion, um, with us and an agreed upon thing between the two partnerships is that we wanted to be hands-on owners and be there as much as possible. I think it's imperative 
um, to have a successful restaurant. Um, and I think that the customers love it and you're there and you can talk to them. And if something's, you know, a mistake is happening on someone's dish, you're there to fix it and they know you actually care. So I think it's a big deal. There's a reason that Ma and Pa restaurants and Ma and Pa everything. I mean, if you look at it, Walmart was Ma and Pa. Yeah. Kid, no kidding. You know, yeah. and there's a reason that Ma and Pa, when Ma and Pa are on site, not that you are Ma and Pa, of course, but when the owners are on site, it's a completely different experience than when somebody who's going to check out at five, and we mean check out at five, yeah. is just hopping down the street and they're done. We're finished, yeah. you know. Exactly. So, that, that changes the dynamics directly. So Randy, I'm sorry. I was going to ask Randy, what exactly have you got on the menu for yourself so far, Randy? Well, I mean, pretty much everything that he rattled off at Clampett's for starters, <laughs> but I'm going to have to hit, I'm going to have to hit Tanner's first. Have to, have to go by Tanner's first. Now, yeah, well, uh, Joey, you know, listen, they're, they're putting out fires. Listen, I got one, I got one question before we kind of wind down because you, you, y'all, y'all got business to run. So the divide and conquer in the, in the partnership. So now that y'all, and I get that you're early on in this thing, but help us understand what that looks like for people that join forces. And okay. So w- what does that look like for you guys? We have a pretty defined role and what we, our expectations are here. Alana's going to be the face of the store. She's going to be our operating manager, general manager, day to day. She's going to be the one the customers see. Um, I want to handle the back of the house. Um, you know, we go through a few million dollars worth of meat a year at our store. So having access to all of that, uh, just yesterday, Stockyard flew in their representatives to come to our store to do some cut tests, uh, things like that. So with me being the back of the house, looking at inventory and things of that nature, uh, that's going to where I'm going to focus and she's going to focus on the front of the house, yeah. which would be pleasing to all of y'all. Daniel, my loving sweet husband, um, he's going to stay and pretty much run Melinda's. Um, and, and that's going to be a busy job for him at Melinda's. I can tell. Especially but, you with know. the broken ankle. Oh, really? <laughs> like, that's right. Yeah, I saw his he cast. Does. He's been there. He's been scooting along and, and everything, um, doing the best he can. So <laughs> bad now, timing, but he's making it work. His timing could have been a whole lot better. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, but I hear telling, and just to let you know, Randy, he, he does have an entrepreneurial vein. I think he's actually leasing space on his cast. So yeah. if you wanted to say, you know, come to Tanner's on his cast or see <laughs> rock city, you know, I'd be good with yeah. either one of those. I think he's already sold some space to some places. So <laughs> I asked him how much airtime the cast would get. Cause I kind of wanted to know what you'd be getting for your money. If you right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Well, Thanks for being with us. I tell you what, we wish you the absolute best. I will actually, I haven't been to Tanner's in six months, seven months. I need to swing by there. I haven't been to Clampett's in, um, ever. And so, uh, I need to go by there. I'm sorry. What's I'm that? I'm sorry. I haven't been here. I feel bad for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel bad for him after experience. listening to everything he's missed. Yeah, it's, I know. It's, it's an experience and that's what we did for us. Food is not just about consuming food. It's about an experience. Family comes together around food. Yes. And that, that's what we do at our store. You know, we, we will, any given weekend, we'll go through a thousand pounds of barbecue. Uh, I, I didn't mention the barbecue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How old is Clampets? Uh, huh? How old Fair is Clampets? Clampets has been around since for about five years now. Okay. Five years. Um, I promise I'm stopping. I'm coming. We've got about 28 employees running around like ants. We get two huge old hickory smokers going nonstop that we could probably both fit in, or at least she could. Um, <laughs> you know, like I said, we probably cold smoked 10 types of cheese this week alone. But it's about the experience. Like I said, we don't want to just feed you a meal. Anybody can do that. We want to create a pleasant environment and a pleasant experience for you, whether it be at Clampett's, Melinda's, or Tanner's. And that's what we hope to elevate here. We don't want to just serve people food. Subway next door does that. We want to make a dining experience or a family experience. That's to make great thing. memories. To make great memories. I understand. Exactly. In exactly. particular, in this time and age, that, that's about all we got, to yeah. be frank about for, it. For sure. uh, but I will say, you know, Randy, speaking about making memories, you know what occurred to me is next week, I think I think if I'm not mistaken, I think there's pretty good cell phone signal there in Clampett's. And I'm thinking we could do a live remote from Clampett's. And I, you know what? If we were provided samples, I know 
I know we could do a live remote. There you go. You better you get to about campus. protein based vegan stuff, or are you talking about real stuff? <laughs> I'm talking about the real stuff. I'm talking oh, about yeah, the real stuff. You know, do I, know. I need to change your impression of me. Just come on in. <laughs> we'll come on in. You don't leave a fat man's house hungry. I'll tell you right. <laughs> <laughs> if you live this down, you better show up over there. <laughs> I promise well, I'm coming. I'm I will come. I will come. Speak for him, but no, we'll be there. We'll be there. Well, I'll tell you what, for Hot Springs Village Inside Out, I'm Dennis Simpson. He's Randy Cantrell. And it's Alana and Joey, and it's been a pleasure having you today. We will talk to you all soon. Come visit us again at Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Thanks for listening to another episode of Hot Springs Village Inside Out, a podcast where Hot Springs Village, Arkansas is the star. Please subscribe to the podcast. You can do that by visiting our website, hsvinsideout.com, and tell a friend.